In this tutorial, we're going to cover how to use the Refine Tracklets GUI. After running Create Tracklets, we're going to load them in the Refinement GUI stage. Here, the GUI is launched, and you can play the video by tabbing through or dragging across time, and you can look for any errors in the trajectories, namely here. So let's drag and correct this big jump. This actually belongs on the tail base of the other mouse. You can do micro refinements now, but really, the first name is going to make, take care of major swaps. In this video, there are no major identity swaps. As you can see, the color stays consistent across time. But we're going to pretend that there are. So here, I've flagged a starting frame and an ending frame. We'll see now that that area is gray, and we use the lasso function to grab body parts and reassign them now. I.e., I click on mouse 3, you can see that these have been re-identified as mouse 3. Now when I play them, the head is now yellow versus pink. Alright, so let's pretend that I corrected any major swaps. Now I'm going to save, and also in this tab, you have the option to filter the data. So here, now what you'll see is you can actually go back and reload the filtered trajectories and load them in the GUI. So you'll see these are an H5 file now. At this point, you can use this GUI to clean up any little deviations that you might find in the data, as this is going to be your final H5 output file. Here, you can zoom, adjust, and modify any points that you like. At this stage, you can optionally save your edits. Namely, you can save the frames that have been modified in order to merge them back into a new trading set in the future. Now that we've cleaned up the H5 files, you can use them for any other downstream applications. In our GUI, you can create videos, specifying if you want filtered predictions used, the identity of the animal shown, different tracker methods you might have tried out. Let's take a look. Looks pretty good. And without changing anything in the GUI, you can change these settings and run it again, and it'll create a new video for you, showing the new settings. Thanks for watching and happy deep lab cutting.